Seattle concert goers dropping to the floor in fear as dozens of gunshots are fired outside the venue. This was the scene left afterwards. The ground riddled with bullet casings, windows shot out. It's leaving people with a lot of questions about security and crime in the city. The shooting outside that Seattle concert venue happening just days before Mayor Bruce Harrell and interim police chief Diaz shared details of their new recruitment strategy to hire much needed officers. We have team coverage now. Matt Markovich has the details on the recruitment plans. But first, we go to Steve Kiggins in the Central District. What we know about this shooting. Steve. Yeah, David and Hannah, the folks we talked to tell us the show this past week in the Washington Hall was open to all ages. And they tell us, look, everything seemed to be going fine until all of a sudden there was a deafening haze of bullets. Inside, you can see where the, the bullet entered the door and then exited out here through the paperwork. Kiyoki Silvano shows us the damage to his car. This nearby window also took a bullet. It's only been days since the shooting outside Washington Hall. I mean, even kind of talking about it now, I'm, I'm starting to feel like my, my heart's like elevating, like my, my heartbeat's kind of moving a little bit faster right now. It's stupid. I think it's really stupid. Sandra Gordon says her apartment, which faces Washington Hall, somehow wasn't hit. They're teenagers, and but they can go away for life. Washington Hall was packed Sunday. In the cell phone video, you can hear the gunfire and then the panic. Watch as concert goers hit the floor for cover. I took my nephew and I threw the little four-year-old down on, on the bed, and then I threw the 10-year-old on the floor, and I told the guy and my son to get down, and they just kept shooting. I thought it was actually part of the music bed at first. Silvano was working at the concert shooting video. He ran for safety after he caught his wits. It took me a second to realize that it was actually real. But the shooting wasn't just a few shots. The gunfire intensifies, terrorizing concert goers who soon quickly run for the exits. Lady in the building right above, she stood right in a window hollering at them when they were shooting and telling them to stop shooting. SPD says they arrived and found hundreds of people running in all directions and evidence pointing to a shooting in the hall's parking lot and up and down the block. A wrecked car also found nearby. Cops believe that driver may have been part of the shooting. Miraculously, SPD says they found no victims. They also have not made arrests. Silvano's job takes him to concerts. He hopes his nerves allow him to return for another job at Washington Hall this weekend. At the end of the day, I just want to go home, kiss my kids good night, and, and give my wife a hug and, and let her know I got home. And, and I didn't know if that was going to happen the other night. Now, Interim Police Chief Diaz wouldn't talk to us about specifics with this case, but did say uh, the number of shooting incidents in the city that include a large number of bullets like this one there on the rise. He also told us that shots fired incidents, the reports of those across the entire city, they're seeing more of those this year than in any other years past. We also reached out to the folks who run Washington Hall to ask if they plan to make any changes to their security for their event coming up this weekend. We've got to hear back. We're live in Seattle, Steve Kiggins, Fox 13 News.